The new trailer was just released, and with a few nitpicks, I like it alright. I have high hopes for the final product. Here's a list of 20 things that I think are worth mentioning. I would have liked the narrator's presence, and the paraphrasing of the iconic speech felt a little weird, because it seemed a little bit motivational. With the free yourself, take to the seas. My treasure is yours to find. Instead of the you want it, go for it. I left it there. The outfits look really good. In live actions, they tend to be completely changed, or even if they remain, they look like just clothes. And since One Piece is always doing outfits the right way, while other anime just save on that, I'm glad they had made them justice right here. The characters look so clean, especially the main cast. I can also feel like they jumped out of the screen, just to say hi. Marine's uniforms throwed me off a little bit. The star here, or the shoulders there, yeah. But I did like the executioners. The humor glimpses tell me I'm going to like it. Mutiny. And I'm glad they seem not to try to force them. As a child, I didn't care for pirates, and sometimes One Piece does not seem like a pirate show, which was a good thing for me back then. But in recent years, I've been craving for it, and it seems like this might do the trick. I do like the name acknowledgement since Luffy technically didn't name the crew himself, but I mean, what other thing would have been named by the Marine Sword of People if he made a Jolly Roger where the only distinction to the default is a straw hat? So that was nice. The way the props look is just as good as the outfits, from Mihawk's sword to Usopp's slingshot. I'm really liking the makeup. They nailed Mary, and I'll be waiting on Kudo. One of the things I've seen not get too much attention is Kobe's hair. If you've seen people who dye their hair, you'll agree with me that this looks really well. I'll give the Fishman a 6.5 rounded to 7. But considering it was one of the most difficult things to replicate, I have nothing but praise for them. Arlong Park really looks like a park, that's a point. The fighting style looks enjoyable since the teaser, and that's another one of the hardest things. While from a personal point of view, I do not like Arlong's voice, I think it complements what Arlong represents. I respect the decision of making Arlong fight at night. I'm sorry. Could be a what? clever move. <laughs> Mihawk looks stunning and stoic. I do have my doubts in seeing Nami be part of the Arlong walk. I'm not against it, but I want to see how they rearrange the things around it for it to fit, since the walk is to save Nami, and Nami doesn't fight in the original release. So being part of the walk, I hope she kicks some racist <laughs> Wow. I've always said Oda missed a huge chance in Shabondi with the wanted posters in Chucky's bar, and it's nice to see it didn't happen here. Cavendish is indeed in the Grand Line one year before Luffy, so it's a nice nod. Alvida, of course little Foxy, and Bellamy. This is something I've wanted for a long time. From the same frame, I do appreciate the marine propaganda too. Sets the scene really well. Okay, my favorite thing about this pick was the whole buggy shenanigans. They're too good. The scenery, the actor, the actor's voice. the visuals, I'm sold on everything there. I cannot wait for the release. 